Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to reboot your Quoxus IQ Panel 2 or the IQ Panel 2 Plus. It's the same process and there's two very, very easy ways to do this. The first way, there's an actual panel reboot button in the advanced settings. And then two, there's a power down button if you guys want to do a hard reboot where you guys can power the system down and then remove the backup battery and the power supply from the wall or um, the little barrel connector that plugs in to the actual system. And I'm going to show you guys how to do both of them. Now, if you guys are going to be doing the panel reboot and even the panel power down, you will need to know the master code, the installer code, or the dealer code. As long as you have either one of those, one of those three codes, you should be able to panel reboot or power down the system very easily. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is right here I have my IQ panel 2. I'm going to hit the little top button here to open up my settings. And then I'm going to hit the little wrench to open settings. Now from there, you, you're not going to see the panel reboot or the power down function just yet. You need to go to advanced settings. Enter user code. That's where it's going to ask you to enter in your user code. And you need to use your master code, your installer code, or your dealer code. I'm going to show you guys all three. So my master code, my panel's defaulted, so I'm going to use one, two, three, four. That is an IQ2 panel's default master code. If you guys just got a brand new IQ panel 2 or an IQ panel 2 plus, your default master code is one, two, three, four. As you see here, I have a panel reboot and a power down button. I'm going to hit the back arrow key to go back one screen and I'm going to go back into advanced settings. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my, um, my installer code and my dealer code. So my installer code will be 1111. And you'll see there I have a panel reboot and I also have a power down. The installer code is where, what you're going to be using to program in sensors uh, to basically program your system. I'm going to back out one more screen and I'm going to go to advanced settings. And this time, I'm going to use my dealer code, which is 2222. 2222. Two, two. And you'll see here, this brings me more to more dealer settings, dealer branding, a couple of other things that uh, dealers usually have access to. Now, either one of these codes will work, master, installer code, or dealer code. And these, all the codes that I've used today are all default codes. Uh, basically treating this panel as if it was brand new. If you guys have changed your codes or if your company has changed your codes and you're trying to enter in the codes and they're not working, you know why. So, as you see here, every single screen that we've had has had panel reboot and power down. The first reboot option is going to be the panel reboot. This will simply power cycle your IQ Panel 2 or your IQ Panel 2 Plus. Um, and if you hit OK, the panel will start rebooting. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel just to show you guys what a hard reboot will look like because that actually goes a little more into depth. If you do a panel reboot and you hit OK, the panel will shut down and then it'll power back up on its own. Now, sometimes whenever you're doing the panel reboot, you may be asking why you need it. Uh, let's say for an activation, sometimes the cellular signal takes a little bit to ping into the alarm.com servers when you're being activated. So sometimes what a panel reboot does is it kind of resets everything. It refreshes everything and it makes everything go a little bit faster. So sometimes an activator or a technician may ask you to reboot your system, whether it's a simple panel reboot or whether it's a hard reboot. Um, do not do the reboots until a technician tells you to do it. Uh, one other thing, um, you know how sometimes you power down a computer or a laptop or even a gaming station, anything like that, even a router as well. Sometimes you need to power them down, give them a little break to power them back up, even your cell phone. Same thing with the alarm system. Sometimes every now and then they need to be powered down for 30 seconds and then turn back on. So we saw with the panel reboot. Uh, how to access that. Now let's go ahead and go into the power down. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do a complete power down where you remove the backup battery and where you remove the transformer or the, um, the AC power to the system. When you guys are doing this hard reboot, it's very important that you power the system down first and then remove these parts. 
simply removing the backup battery and the AC power supply uh, while the system is still powered on could cause corruption of the system. You could break your system, short circuit it. So you wanna make sure that you power the system down first before you remove anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit power down. Power down. It's gonna ask me if I wanna relaunch the wizard on the next power up. I'm just gonna uncheck that because I do not wanna relaunch the wizard. And it even says here, are you sure you want to shut down? Disconnecting the power supply and or battery before the shutdown process is complete may result in data corruption and or panel failure. Important to continue, press shutdown and wait for the LED buttons to turn completely off, then unplug the battery followed by the power supply. So I'm gonna hit okay. System will say power off, shutting down. As soon as this light here on the right hand side that's green goes completely dark, then I can go ahead and take my system off the cover, unplug the backup battery, and unplug the power supply. So the light is off, the screen is dark, no button presses make the screen power on. I can now go ahead and take the system off of the back plate. There's two tabs here at the very top. One second. Okay. So here you have the back of the IQ2. You see this is my power supply right here. It plugs into this little barrel connector and my backup battery is right here. So the system is completely powered down so you can easily, if you wanted to do a hard reboot, unplug the backup battery and you can unplug the power supply. One moment. And now I have my IQ2 free from a backup battery and free from a power supply. This is how you do a hard reboot. Now to power it back on, you can just plug everything right back in the same way it was. Plug the barrel connector in, make sure it's all the way in. And plug the backup battery in, it'll snap in. And once you have that, you can mount the system back onto the back wall, onto the back plate. Make sure you fish the antenna through the back for your, if you're using the IQ2 Plus for your power G sensors. And it snaps shut onto the back plate. Now, I must have accidentally pressed the little side button here uh, when plugging it back in, which is why you see the screen come on. Uh, but normally the screen won't come on until you actually press that side button, uh, which is the power button. Um, now you see the system's powering back on and that was how you do a hard reboot. So you have the panel reboot, which is just a simple reboot. And then you have a hard reboot where you actually shut the system down. You manually take out the power supply and the backup battery, and then you plug everything back in and then you power it back on. If you guys have any questions on how to reboot your IQ Panel 2 or your IQ Panel 2 Plus, please email us to support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon to enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.